A blockbuster gun rights case lands in the Supreme Court. Here are three judges to watch. The controversial case tests limits of the blockbuster Second Amendment decision that requires gun bans to be based on nation's history. Show title hide title when home sweet home is no longer safe. The U.S. Supreme Court is set to hear a case regarding gun surrender laws in domestic violence situations. Janet Paulson is living proof of what's at stake. Washington. As nation reels from the year's deadliest mass, Supreme Court this week will decide a Second Amendment dispute that could have huge consequences for victims of domestic violence. On Tuesday, the court will hear oral arguments on a law banning people who have experienced domestic violence from owning guns. Studies show that women who own guns are five times more likely to die from domestic violence. The case centers on Texas man who was involved in 5S between 2020 and 2021 and pleaded guilty to federal charge possession of firearm despite being the subject of domestic violence restraining order. His appeal to the Supreme Court could also have far-reaching effects on other gun bans. That's because his lawyers are relying on a blockbuster Supreme Court decision made just over a year. A go to challenge the constitutionality of the federal law he's accused of violating. In that case, the court ruled that gun regulations must be consistent with this country's historic tradition of firearm regulation to withstand the court's objections. In his dissent, Justice Stephen Breyer, who has since retired, noted a study regarding the increased risk to victims of domestic violence when guns are present. This is common sense domestic abusers should NT have guns, said Esta Solar, president of Futures Without Violence, a group that advocates for an end to domestic violence. Women and children die when guns and domestic violence mix. LGBTQ writes the legal battle over. Gender affirming care has reached the Supreme Court. He will hear arguments regarding the Rahimi case. Here are three judges to watch as this debate continues. And why Kavanaugh there is no blank check on guns Justice Brett Kavanaugh and Chief Justice John Roberts are always important to watch because they are at ideological center of the court and can change outcome of a case one way or another. This may be especially true for weapons. While both conservatives voted to repeal the New York gun permit law at issue in Brune, both also signed a concurring opinion that placed some limits on that decision. Kavanaugh emphasized that the court's landmark decision last year should not be read as casting doubt on bans on the possession of firearms by felons and the mentally ill. Kavanaugh wrote that states could still require gun purchase licenses, require people to be fingerprinted and submit to background checks, education and mental health records checks. Domestic violence was not brought up in the court's opinion or Kavanaugh's concurring opinion.